Welcome back. It may feel early to talk politics, but we are within range of a big primary election in 2016, and there are a lot of candidates to get to know before we vote here in New Hampshire. Tonight we have State Representative Jack Flanagan, a Republican from Brookline, who's running for Congress in New Hampshire's 2nd District. He's currently in a field of three, facing off against fellow Republicans Jim Lawrence and State Representative Eric Estevez. Jack, thanks for joining us today. Appreciate Thank you, it. Adam. Nice First off, uh, you're a native New Englander. You have your background in business. Tell a little, uh, us a little bit about yourself. Well, I used to work down the street at New Hampshire Insurance years ago. I was probably in the 80s. Uh, it shows you how old I've gotten these <laughs> days. But uh, it's mostly an insurance background. I had a couple startup companies dealing with insurance but then got involved with the legislature uh, six years ago. Mm -hmm. What's the number one issue that is driving you to want to represent the Granite State in Washington? I think it's uh, the economy. I, I think we need to get our economy. When we have to balance our budget, everything's tied to economic growth right now. Uh, and also, you know, currently Mrs. Custer, the congresswoman that's representing us now, has been relatively ineffective. In the last four years, she's introduced uh, 19 bills and only one has passed. So there's something missing there, and I think I'm the person to fill that void. We know Congress in general has been pretty inactive over the last few years because it, there's so much partisan gridlock. Right, right. Do you see yourself joining the front lines in that battle, or do you want to be someone who reaches across the aisle on occasion? I, if Concord's any s sample, I tend to reach across party lines. I, I, it takes, uh, in the Concord, it takes 100 plus one, right? Because, there, no, excuse me, 200, 200 plus, one. plus one. Yeah, I lose track of the numbers. <laughs> and Washington's not, not much difference. But, yeah, I, I think it's uh, trying to get uh, a bipartisan approach is not a bad thing, but I don't want to lose sight of the Republican positions we have. And we've done that in Concord. We've got businesses doing well in the state now, unemployment's low. Um, so if we can do even a little bit of what we've done in Concord and Washington, I think the state would be a, a lot better. Now, this is a little bit inside baseball, but at the State House, obviously, there are still some uh, hurt feelings over the way that the Speaker came to power, yes. and you were the majority leader there. Uh, is there any fence mending that needs to go on with, say, the, the Bill O'Brien wing of the Republican Party for you? Uh, if people know the whole story, I mean, I reached out to Bill when he won the, we went on at the primary, uh, but Bill had taken steps, like, for example, the secret ballot went to a roll call vote, and I actually, even on the House floor, offered to speak on Bill's behalf. I like Bill O'Brien. Uh, I respect him. He's a bright man. Um, I think that the numbers just didn't work out for him. And um, we are, um, have been under uh, Speaker Jasper's tutelage for the last two years, and things have gone fairly well. Once we got into the policy, and when I was majority leader, uh, things were, were, were ticking along pretty good. We did some good things last year. If you make it to the general election against Congresswoman Custer, obviously the playbook for every Democrat this year is going to be to try and tie Republicans to Donald Trump. Sure. Are you someone who's going to run with Donald Trump, or do you see yourself uh, standing aside and apart from him? Well, I'm, not, I'm a Republican, and so is he. Uh, the reality is, is I'm running for a position in the legislature. He's running for a position in the executive branch. So I'm focused on policy changes that will make in this case, the United States, a better place to do business, live, raise your kids on all facets. He's more about running the country as it relates to the executive branch and the executive offices and the agencies that, that are, he's under his control. And yet, would you see yourself carrying forward his legislative agenda if he becomes the president? No, I would want to put forth my legislation because he's not in the legislature. He's in the executive branch. So I would be pushing for policy changes and hopefully it would get through the House, the Senate, and of course, past the, the White House. What's that bill, the first one that you want to file? Do you have any idea? I, I'm going to look at the balanced budget amendment. I'm sure there's already uh, some versions of it, but I think the first thing would be a balanced budget amendment, and, and I've always advocated for that. We need to get our fiscal house in order so we have extra money to spend on other things. All right. Representative Flanagan, thanks for your time. Good Adam, to get to know you better on the air here. It's a pleasure. Enjoy your fourth. Right. Thanks for your time.